I'm tired y'all. I'm so goddamn tired. I just got back from the Philippines and um, I assumed that from April 1st, 2022, there would be no more mandatory quarantine for people traveling into Korea. Apparently, in the fine print, it says that that is the case if your last vaccine or something was taken within the last six months or 180 days. My last one was October of last year, so a little over six months. So I'm back in the mother quarantine hotel and I am tired, but there's literally no point in me trying to complain because it's too late. I, I'm here, so this is my second time. So I thought, why not vlog it this time? Because last time I could not be bothered. I actually happened to be staying at the exact same hotel as well, in pretty much the exact same room. It's just, uh, layout is flipped. So, um, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't mind staying here because it's a nice hotel, right? They got a nice bathtub. Girl, they got a bidet. And it's just seven days of me sitting here alone, which is, to be honest, if I'm completely honest with you, not that different from my regular life. But I had some stuff that, I had a lot of stuff planned this week, um, and I'm gonna have to cancel or move over, move them over, which is really freaking annoying. And also I'm running out of face wash. I literally only packed four the few days I was in the Philippines. So, honey, my face is already, like I'm not even shaven. Like I have a dry patch on my face, it's just killing me and uh. Anyway, I'm waiting for the people to come in to take my PCR test. And that will be at the beginning of my seven day quarantine, which is in two, uh, I don't know. Could be worse, it used to be two weeks. Uh, I wish I would fucking known before. Uh, I don't know, voila. This is the first meal that uh, they give you basically when you first arrive at the quarantine place. Simple breakfast. They also give you a pack of masks, which to me, I mean, I guess they're useful once you leave the facility, but if you're gonna be here alone, what's the point? You get six large things of water to last you. You get um, toilet paper, you get a bunch of cups, which I used quite a bit last time because I had coffee every day. They give you trash bags, large Ilban Sirigi Bongtu for all the trash that um, you will <laughs> accumulate. And you have to leave that outside the door um, over there every every morning. You get a bunch of coffees and teas. They also give you a full-size toothpaste, a bar of soap, and also they also uh, give you this soap for like washing clothes. This is that Filipino style of washing clothes where uh, you basically have to wash your clothes in the, in the bathtub. You get a hot water kettle thing, which is super useful. You got your TV. All right, I have to show you guys this because this fucking is the one thing that really fucking annoyed me about um, this room, beautiful room. But this design choice made no sense to me. So this is the entrance, right? So you come in, there's a little uh, area because there's no closet. It's like this little area for hanging your clothes if you want. Um, and this is the bathroom. But in order to open the bathroom, you have to slide open this door, which opens the bathroom, but it closes off this area, which, I mean, it's like you're not gonna be spending time at the entrance, but sometimes it can get annoying, like if I have to be there for some reason. Um, this is the bathroom, very pretty bathroom. Simple, nothing huge or crazy, but beautiful, uh, I forgot what the word this, for this is. Hinoki. Hinoki. Toilet with a bidet, which is, uh, if I have this, I am a happy camper. Full size shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, which by the way, they all kind of suck. My skin and my hair was screaming from all the sulfates. With this being my second quarantine here, I feel like I'm an expert already of this hotel. Anyway, I'm gonna go uh, wait for the PCR test and I'll see you guys in a bit. I fell asleep. My lunch is kind of cold now, but this is what we're working with. Uh, Dongas. It's a Japanese style hotel, so the meals are more Japanese Korean than anything. Whatever I eat, it's probably just gonna taste good to me. Due to sheer starvation. Ah, I slept again. A few minutes after I finished eating my lunch, dinner had already come. That's how late I had my lunch. Today's dinner. I think this is the first time they're serving pasta. Cause they never served this last time. Oh shit, too much, too much. Usually I'm not picky with food, but when people ask me what I don't like, pasta is it? I just got back from the Philippines, so I love Filipino spaghetti. Don't have any of that in Korea. 
Sorry, I'm coming to you unshaven. There's an app that you have to download, the self-check-in app. You basically have to record your symptoms and your temperature for that day. And in that box with the mask, they also give you uh, a thermometer. So once you record your temperature, you go in the app and you put in if you have any symptoms, no symptoms. And then you put in your temperature for the day. Mine was 36.3. And then you submit. Good. And you have to do that every day while you're here. Uh, hello guys, time your bubbly as a... Hi Eddie. Oh, how are you? <laughs> how was your day? My day was boring, that's what it was. <gasps> Isaac is the only one that can keep me company in this situation. Right now he's just... He's making fun of me. Right now he... You see that? He's like, oh, I'm flower boy, and I said, <laughs> But in real life, in real life, piece of shit. Just kidding. <laughs> <Eddie, good luck. laughs> I literally feel like Tom Hanks and Castaway because my beard just gets even longer and longer. If you have a beard, you know the feeling of after you shave the first few days, especially if you have a thick beard. It's that hard prickly feeling, but now it's softer. But yesterday, um, kind of uneventful. But I talked about this on, on my Instagram, but I have this wireless mouse that I use for editing and it's the one where you can change the side panel. There's two other ones, one with like two buttons and another one with like four buttons or something. I use the one with 12 buttons. <laughs> this is meant for use with like more pegs, MMORPGs, because of all the side buttons, you can assign them like shortcuts. But it's great for editing. It makes my editing so, so, so much more fast. But I was a fucking idiot because this shit uh, requires a mini USB. The size is very particular. This USB thing that I brought, the size was, it was too big to fit in. So I spent a good amount of yesterday, a few hours, like taking my goddamn eyebrow razor, trying to MacGyver some, some of this shit, like to try and shape it so I can like jab it in there and it's only Tuesday now, so I would have been the whole week without a mouse if I could not charge this shit. And there is like, you know, the mouse pad on the laptop, but it's so much harder to edit with that. And I can't game with it. By some miracle, I was able to fit this shit in there. Now we're in, boys. Now the only issue is finding a way to keep myself occupied until Saturday. It is Thursday. So I have like two days left, basically. And uh, I know, I'm sex to look I shaved yesterday, but it grew back already. And I'm wearing the same black shirt, but ignore that. But I went out to get my food earlier, and there's literally people, like, I don't know what's going on. It's a little bit worrying because when you pick up your food, you have to pick up from the little basket outside in front of your door. There are people around my room that haven't picked up their food for the last, like, three, four, five meals. So there's just, like, stacks of these things laying outside the doors, and that's a little bit worrying. I'm hoping that it's because they're, like, maybe coming from a different country where they have, like, jet lag, and so they're sleeping during the day or something. I burned through like 80% of my banana chips. Yeah, I'm almost done editing this one video. Whenever I'm filming a video, especially like with a friend and there's like a little funny moment or whatever, I try to keep everything that I can. That's just my style, but my nails are growing too long. If I don't do my nails, I try to keep them short it's because when I'm typing and editing, it's so annoying when they're long and my nails hit the keys. It's gotten to the point where I'm like just trying to cut this shit short because I had to do the subs for the video because the whole video, nearly all the videos in Korean, so. Oh, and also, oh my God, my skin has been like dying because again, I was only like, I only brought skincare enough for like, not even a week, like five days. Like I even brought like little sachets of cleanser, my cleansing foam, this little sample. <laughs> which was already like halfway gone. I do use one of these things that makes the foam, so I can just use a little bit. So I've been like saving it, but um, my cleansing oil, I left it at the hotel over in the Philippines because I didn't think I would need it because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna wear makeup on the way back home, so I'll just leave it here. Not that I'm wearing makeup here, but my skin likes cleansing oil, especially like in the morning. So my skin is just being so flaky because I always use cleansing oil to exfoliate my skin. If not cleansing oil, I'll use cotton pads, but I don't have any cotton pads. There are two that they give you here because a lot of hotels will give you cotton pads, but obviously I already used those like two days ago. And so I literally, last night I was so desperate. I was like, you know what, just deal with it until Sunday midnight, which is when I can leave. The midnight of Saturday, technically Sunday. So just deal with it until then, but I got so desperate. What I do have is this Cleo Kill Lash Mascara, which I use to remove mascara if I'm wearing it. It's really good actually. I literally just like, 
put this shit all over, because it is kind of like an oil. I just put this shit all over my face and it actually worked pretty well. However, it does not wash off like a cleansing oil because it's literally, it's like oil oil. So there's like this residue on my face and it was so nasty and like cleansing foam would have taken it off. So my skin was much softer, but I don't think I would ever resort to that again. I used one of my last two remaining cleansers. And I shaved because this facial hair, this is completely random, but this is the razor I use, the one that vibrates. I tend to just shave dry. Like I literally just like wet the razor, just like shave like that. But in the Philippines, for some reason, I discovered the beauty, I more like rediscovered the beauty of shaving foam. And I realized how much smoother the shave is. Sorry, there's just so much noise going on. But yeah, there's literally nothing for me to show you in this hotel because I show you everything. So I have nothing else to talk about besides the fact that I just recently got into shaving foam. Just kidding. Uh, overflow. Uh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this isn't as relaxing as I was hoping. Ah! Character development. I changed my shirt. Uh -huh. So it's finally Sunday. No, just kidding. Saturday, my last day in quarantine. I spent the whole week just kind of like trying to get over the frustration with the fact that I ended up in here. At the end of the day, I guess it's my fault that I probably, I guess I should have checked. The, the details or whatever. In fact, I probably should have gone my booster shot. That's what I should have done. The one thing that annoyed me though is that there were some friends of mine that I told and you know, being really frustrated, but their response was like laughter and humor. I guess I can see why it would be funny, but also for me having to spend over $800 on this hotel, I wasn't planning on staying in for seven days um, and having to reschedule a lot of things that I had going on this week simply because of this little minute detail. It's whatever, it's the last day, so I'm here to enjoy my last few moments. I'm a little annoyed because remember, you know, the wired headphones? And after a while, the cable at the, the part where you plug it would like get fucked up after like a month of use. I think something like that happened to my laptop cable because my laptop would not charge. Um, luckily, I finished editing a video that was already uploaded but now I can't play Dead by Daylight. I kind of have to just play on my Switch, which there's not really any games that I'm really into right now. I did start Xenoblade Chronicles. I bought that in the second one. I was super into Xenosaga when I was in uh, when I was in grade school. So I thought, oh, maybe I like Xenoblade and it's okay. But this is my last dinner, my last meal. It's Tongas. It's, it's all right. But the thing I love is this yache soup, this vegetable soup, but it's so salty and oniony. Overall, I think this vlog was, would probably be really boring just because nothing happened. I literally sat in my hotel room, just on my computer all day, switching between Premiere Pro and Dead by Daylight. One thing that was nice was that I got to watch Queendom 2 live on the TV, which I never really do at home because um, I don't have cable. So I'll just watch, I'll, I'll download it from the internet and I'll watch it there. And I think I'm pretty satisfied with how I'm at the point in my Korean language life where I can watch that kind of TV programming and get a good idea of what's going on. Dramas, I still don't think I can get on that. I think I watched a Korean movie at one point without subs in. I didn't know half the shit that was going on. I just kind of, it, it was okay because it was an action movie. So, you know, context clues, but it is nice to be able to ha not have to wait for subs necessarily. I get out of here at exactly 12. I'm gonna take a uh, taxi back home and I'm gonna live my best life. I low key was like, cause it's Saturday, I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna go to the club. But then my 30 year old bones are probably not gonna be able to handle it. So, all right, well, it's uh, 20 ish minutes till 12 AM. So I'm out of here. If you don't want to quarantine coming to Korea, get your booster, up, get up to your booster. I'm not gonna miss this. I'm really not. The first time was all right. It was a good experience, I guess. Uh, because the hotel room in general is pretty nice. The bathroom is nice, all that. They give you food, but I would never wish this upon anyone else. I only did it for seven days. Originally, it, it used to be two weeks. Then it went down to 10 at some point and then seven, luckily, by the time I did my first one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you back at home. Bye.